So earlier today I posted a video on the best 5 weapons I believe that have come out of the new Revenge of the Cartels event as well as the exclusive Mayhem 6 Plus additional legendaries. Within that list was an item which allows us to do crazy things. And yes, the title of this video is one of its crazy things. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So in the top 5 I spoke about, I mentioned a legendary which was super unique in what it could offer. It paired with another item allows us to get literally infinite ammo. Yes, you heard that right. No specific vault hunter needed, just two items. Those items are the fish slap grenade and any variant of the cut purse artifact. Pairing these together means you can literally have infinite ammo and I'll explain exactly how this works in a quick second. Now firstly I'm making this video separate to the top 5 video in which I demonstrated this in action because I was advised to by a few folks I do indeed play the game with who still didn't realise that this was a possibility. Now the biggie is and it's the fact that we mostly play on Zane. So because Zane doesn't have easy means of regening ammo or stretching his ammo even further than usual Doing this means those weapons which are stupid good but let us down due to burning through ammo too quick, a lot like the Sandhawk, the Yellow Cake, and even older weapons much like the Hydro Frost, which is a great great pistol some consider OP, but I let down through how quick they get through their ammo, this method today resolves all of those issues. And in reality, it doesn't really take away from your build that much. So how this is done and what you need. Firstly, any variant of the fish slap grenade, which is a grenade which drops upon the Villa Ultraviolet from fish slap himself and Tyron Smollens. And then all you need is any variant of the cut purse artifact, any at all. So use this guide on screen now to find one and go farm it and look for the cut purse variant with a decent roll. I have two at the moment, but we'll go farm a better variant soon. The better one came from a pal of mine, Cronus Senpai, aka Zero, so credit to him. So how this works is, with both the fish slap and the artifact equipped, it's as simple as hitting enemies with that grenade. This gives you ammo back. It is that easy. And what's crazy people is the rate at which you regen that ammo on a grenade hit. Also guys, which is kinda great because this grenade isn't the most powerful, even hitting yourself with the grenade will regen that ammo. Like I said, this grenade is capable of some crazy things. And for those that don't know, this works because the fish slap damage is melee damage and it being melee damage triggers the perk on the cut purse artifact of dealing melee damage replenishes ammo and it is just as simple as that, two things for infinite ammo on the go and this changes a lot of things with a lot of weapons which I've kind of overlooked in the past because of how quick they get through that ammo, it changes a lot of things in relation to them and to be honest like I said it doesn't really affect that build too much either and it can be easily worked around. Now I have built up a Zane build around this, if you guys do want a video on that just let me know and I'll make a quick guide. But yeah, people have fun with this, I mean even if you don't decide to use this, at least the knowledge is there for you just in case you need it in the future. But on that note we have come to the end of the video people, if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But well guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.